February is American Heart Health Month. Here to give us all the information and how we can affect our own lifestyles is Dr. Paul Hendricks. He is the Hamilton County Health Department County Health Officer. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having us. Thank you uh, for giving the opportunity. Tell us a little bit about why February is so important. Well, February is National Heart Month. Obviously, mm -hmm. with Valentine's Day, everybody's thinking about hearts at this time, and we're trying to help everybody learn what kind of simple steps they can take to protect their heart and to have good heart health. Now, a lot of people may know this, but if you don't, I'm going to tell you now. Heart disease continues to be the number one cause of death in the United States. The number one cause of death. It, it really is. The sad thing is there's so much you can do, even simple things you can do to protect your heart. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to emphasize to people you don't have to be like a marathon runner. You can go out and, and just do a good brisk walk several times a week. Uh, the, rec the, the minimum recommended amount of exercise, I mean, no amount is, is bad, mm -hmm. obviously. But going out and taking a good brisk walk, 30 minutes, five times a week is the number that people look at as a minimum. But that can be even in small amounts. You can go out for 10 or 15 minutes in the morning and then another 15, 20 minutes in the afternoon or break yeah. it up into three different times. Plus, there's a lot of things you can do in just your, your everyday activities, taking the stairs rather than the elevator or the escalator, parking at the back of the parking lot rather than trying to find that parking spot closest to the store. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we'll, um, we'll add a few extra steps. You know, people talk about getting steps. We talk about simple steps. The simple step mm -hmm. you can do is to simply take steps. So trying to get some, any kind of activity is good activity, and people can focus on taking a little bit there. Plus, you know, you can start working on your diet. You can try to cut out the amount of salt in your diet, little things like tasting your food before adding salt. Don't automati automatically pick up that salt shaker. Try and move towards um, less salt in your diet mm -hmm. and just... Uh, um, I'm sure Those just a healthier diet overall, more fruits and vegetables. More fruits and vegetables right. is a very helpful thing people can do um, using vegetables, using fruits for snacks rather than you mm -hmm. know, candy and cookies. And chips, right. <laughs> <laughs> These are all lifestyle changes that yes. you've mentioned. They're all small changes we can make over <coughs> a period of time that are going to make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, tell me why it's so important for us to make these lifestyle changes. You know, what are those risk factors with heart disease? You know, what do we need to be looking at? Well, again, uh, there, are the, there are these things you can do, mm -hmm. trying to um, increase your activity, improve your diet. There are other risk factors that you can work on. Smoking is obviously a very uh, a kind of thing that mm -hmm. we know causes lots of health problems, including heart disease. Right. So it's important to start working on picking a time to quit smoking if you do smoke. We still have in Tennessee something like, 20, like one out of every five people are still smoking. Wow. There is a quit line that you can go to. It's called 1-800-QUIT-NOW, and that will connect you with a quit coach, a, a live person at the other end that can help you to quit smoking. There are other health problems that you might have that contribute to heart disease, like high blood pressure or diabetes. It's, rec it's, it's said that uh, like half of all people with high blood pressure are not adequately treated. So seeing your doctor about high blood pressure, diabetes, or high cholesterol is important to get mm -hmm. their help in improving your health. Um, there are some good resources that you can find mm -hmm. online. Now, Governor Haslam a few years ago started what was called Healthier Tennessee. Right at healthiertn.com and that site has great tips on small steps you can take um, mm -hmm. you know kind of baby steps to to help your health and there's also an app you can download onto your phone so you can even get your phone to help you out so it, it's not hard you don't mm -hmm. have to be a marathon runner you don't have to be an iron man you don't have to go to that extent. You right. can definitely um, do small things that can do a lot to help your health. Small lifestyle changes can make a huge difference when it comes to preventing heart disease. It's as simple as adding a little bit of more, a little bit more movement in your weekly routine and changing that diet just a little bit. Take each step at a time. Like Dr. Hendricks said, baby steps. Yes. All right. HealthierTN.com and also as always for more information from the health department, health.hamiltontn.org.